will be done in Tagalog. And if you don't understand Tagalog, please do check out the rest of the content that I uploaded. Game! So guys, itong unboxing na to medyo controversial kasi sapatos to ng politiko. Pero please take note na hindi to endorsement at kung ay may pusa sa likod ko na nag ng box. Pero hindi to endorsement, hindi to ibig sabihin sinong suportahan ko yung kandidato. Bukas po ang vlog na to sa lahat ng mga sapatos na nagagaling sa politiko para ma-review objectively. So simula na natin. Ito po ang unboxing and review ko ng Bongo 3 Point King Sneakers. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. Mahilig kami mamigay na sneakers sa channel na to. So, subscribe na kayo. Follow na sa IG. Yung latest giveaway, lalagay ako ng link sa baba. Click mo na. Okay, games. Ulitin ko lang ha, bago tayo magsimula, bago dumating ang mga taong galit na galit dito, Unang-una sa lahat, pwede ko lang pasabihin ang bansa natin, sobrang split in the middle na. As in, may, hindi man siguro split in the middle, pero sobrang nag-aaway. Talagang may mga sobrang anti-Duterte, may mga sobrang pro-Duterte, at talagang grabe silang magbakbakan. Ngayon, hindi po ibig sabihin ng pag-unbox nito at pag-review nito ay sinasuportahan ko po si Bongo. Uh, ngunit, feeling ko kailangan lang talaga i-unbox at i-review. Dahil nakakaaliw siyang sapatos eh. So, I will focus on that. And again, if may mga ibang politiko dyan na gusto magpa-review ng sapatos at unbox ng sapatos, I'll be more than happy and willing to do so. Uh, just send them over. So, game na tayo. So, ito na. So, this is the Bongo sneakers. So, makita ninyo, may picture po ni Duterte, tsaka Presidente Duterte, tsaka ni Bongo dito sa harap. Na nakalagay Duterte, Bongo. Tapos nakalagay Duterte, Bongo dito. May nakalagay dito sa gilid na Bongo tayo. Tapos may nakalagay din dito, nakalagay na Bongo na may kamao. So, size 12 po to. A white and green colorway made in China. So, quick shout out kay DJ Big Boy Cheng cha kay Sir Melton, anti shoe expert, for sending the shoe over. So, ito po ay chura ng sapatos. Ang makikita po ninyo medyo mahapahaba siya. And actually, this reminds me a lot of the Kevin Durant uh, 11 silhouette. So, it ri really reminds me and gives that vibe of that particular shoe. Hindi ko alam kung knit upper siya, pero maganda naman yung materialis ng upper. Uh, rope laces, tas para may parang, hindi ko alam kung parang fly knit yung <laughs> uh, fly wire na ginagamit ng Nike, yung paano niya iniipit yung mga laces along the sides. And meron din siyang parang toe guard dito sa harap na medyo matigas. Yan yung parang plastic uh, na nakikita niyo dyan, no? Tapos, that same kind of material can be found here on the side of the sneaker for additional arc support. So, meron siya dito sa kanan, meron siya dito sa kaliwa. Tapos, kung titignan natin yung pinaka midsole niya, meron siyang EVA foam na pinang ang pangalan ay Bounce. Pero yung Bounce niya, hindi yung parang Bounce ng Adidas na B-O-U-N-C-E. Yung Bounce niya po ay B-O-U-N-S-E. Bounce. What? Okay, tas yung kulay niya, like, na, like what I mentioned earlier, is green and white, which actually is more, uh, it's inspired by the motif of Bongo. Kasi kung titignan po ninyo, pakita ko lang, no? Ito yung logo na ginagamit nila eh. Go na tayo. Yan yung ginagamit niya para sa, I don't know kung nangangampanya na ba siya or ano lang. Pero yan yung logo na ginagamit nila. Which can be, which is very similar actually to the way the pattern was made on the upper. Kung titignan po natin yung pattern, talagang obvious na pang basketball siya dahil mahigpit. Uh, talagang made for lockdown and food security. Hindi lang siya maluwag for the sake of it being, uh, you know, loose. Branding, meron nakalagay dito na bongo na branding. Dito po sa tang tab, yan nakalagay dyan. Tapos may kamao din. And nakalagay dito sa likod, 3-point king. To those who don't know, mahilig po kasi mag-basketball si Secretary Bongo. So kaya siguro gumawa sila ng ganito. Uh, Nakakaalyo naman talaga. Tapos kung titignan may outsole, meron siyang rubber outsole for additional traction and security. Now, how is it on feet? Um... Medyo masikip. Siguro dahil talagang medyo, it's not people for, uh, not people with uh, wide and flat feet like me. Um, medyo pahaba din siya. So feeling ko kung nag-size 13 ako na isang mas malaking size, papasok nga sa entrada pero sobrang haba naman ng sapatos. So this is the type of sneaker I think that is more for people with narrow feet, not necessarily for people like me with wide and flat feet. Hindi siya ganun kakomportable isuot. Pero again, kung, kung, kung normal naman yung size ng paamo at talagang medyo narrow, pasok na pasok tong sapatos na to para sa inyo. Actually, yung fit niya reminds me talaga a lot of the Kevin Durant 11. Kasi sobrang sakto ganun yung pakiramdam ko. Nung sinusubuhan ko, ipasok pa ako sa napakahirap na napakaliit na entrada na to kumpara sa, yun nga, sa KD 11s. Sa naman sa laces, makita niyo yung parang plastic na yan, yung parang triangle na yan. It actually mimics the arrows na pinakita ko rin sa inyo kanina doon sa logo ng sapatos ni Bongo. So, hindi lang yan pang hindi lang yan, alam mo yun, para lang may itsurang ganyan. 
it mimics the arrow motif that you have with this primary logo that he has for his sneaker. Ngayon kung tatanggalin ko yung sikip sa usapan, medyo komportable naman siya kasi yung foam dito sa likod, sobrang lambot. Yun yung nakikita nyo at medyo makapal siya dito sa back. So sobrang ganda siya pa if you're leaning back a bit or even if you're running forward kasi yung cushioning niya nandito rin sa 4 foot part of the sneaker. And meron lang apparently 500 sneakers like this na ginawa tapos 50 of which ay na kay DJ Big Boy Cheng. Kaya again, salamat kay Sir uh, kay DJ Big Boy Cheng at kay Sir Melton sa pagpadala ng sapatos na to para ma-unbox ko sa channel na to. How about you guys? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section in terms of design, in terms of style if you like it. Uh, set aside the politics for a bit and just take a look at the overall build quality and style of the sneaker and let me know down below kung panalo ba siya, kung cup ba siya or drop. Ngayon, hindi po ito binibenta, hindi nyo po ito pwede bilhin. Apparently, uh, there are just 500 pieces made and sila, Secretary Bongo ng bahala kung paano lang pamibigay. Malamang sa mga barangay tournament yan or sa mga ganong klaseng uh, activities and events. Uh, it, this is actually made by World Balance, which is a local brand. So again, it, it is made by somebody who is experienced at my experience na nga sa paggawa ng mga basketball sneakers at lifestyle sneakers. So yun, that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Please do make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram. And make sure that yeah, you hit the link down below for the latest giveaway. Don't forget to subscribe guys. And again, let me know kung pan-cap ba to or drop ba to sa comment section down below. Peace. I hope, I hope you're all having a great weekend. Wasa!